Hey guys, Anthony 4 Before Diesel. Another quick video, and it will be a quick one because we've touched on it before. Not only have we touched on it, we've spoken about it, written about it, been mentioning it for years. Probably that I haven't really got a strong opinion on it. I'll just give you the facts. So it's up to you to watch that information and decide for yourself. Do you need an extra fuel filter? Okay, so some people are going, yeah, we already know that. But why is it then that in the comments and in on Facebook and that people are asking about extra fuel filters? You need to go back and watch the older videos, guys, okay? Now, <clears throat> just quickly. Okay, so this, for example, a Prado that's got two fuel filters stand. It's got the transfer filter at the back there near the tank under above the tail shell, and it's got the usual underbonnet fuel filter. Couple of facts, right? One, this vehicle done 270,000 kilometers on its original injectors, and they were still in reasonable condition, no contamination. There is heaps of vehicles just like this that have done the same and even more. So that says to me you don't need an extra fuel filter. Now, let's say we add an extra, let, let's say that we get contamination, okay? You may have a problem, you may get a, we've shown an example recently where there was really bad contamination evidence of that on the internals of the injectors. The vehicle is still running reasonably, right? So contamination doesn't always mean the end of the world, but it does damage the injectors. Now, the other thing is, um, let's say you were to add an extra fuel filter. Okay, cool. So you go and spend hundreds of dollars or more and add that extra fuel filter. Then um, why is it that we've seen injectors from vehicles that have got the extra fuel filter and they've got that same contamination damage because water gets through filters, okay? We've, got ve we've heard of vehicles over the years and had the injectors and supplied injectors for engines that are being rebuilt or replaced from injectors that are flogged causing wrong combustion at low kilometers from contamination with extra fuel filters so that would kind of say they don't work but i'm not going to say they don't work i'll just tell you the information and evidence what we've seen okay so it's up to you to decide in my opinion i don't run extra fuel filters on our cars i don't recommend them i'm not saying oh no get rid of it it's gonna i'll tell you you know some people still writing in comments oh the only way to go you got to have a two micron what because someone said so two micron it's a fact that it causes problems. We have vehicles that won't start, that stall, that have all sorts of weird issues until we bypass those extra fuel filters. Not just two micron, but two micron is the worst. Now that's our experience, that's what we've seen. So do I care? I don't, it doesn't bother me, it's your car. I'll just give you, share that information experiences. All right, so I hope you can understand. I can't decide for you. A lot of people are going to not like it because, you know, um, they think you need an extra fuel filter or they've got an interest, best interest selling fuel filters, manufacturing, whatever. Hey, for the people that want them, you put the information out there and they'll go, okay, yeah, I need a fuel filter. When we put our experiences out there, facts as they are, I don't run extra fuel filters, okay? So um, we've seen, oh, you know, what can happen with people even running extra fuel filters when you get bad fuel. Seen it, been there, done that. Got the injector command pistons here, all rusty, corroded. Three fuel filters on the car. So there you go. Not to forget that the servos, quality servos are meant to have a um, filter on the pump. So, um, you know, that's really four fuel filters, you know. So at the end of the day, you're 99.9% .9 gonna be okay against contamination depending where you are. Now, obviously, if you're in some areas where you're going to get bad fuel, I completely understand it's probably wise to run that extra fuel filter because you know you're going to get bad fuel, but I've already said you can't rely on it. It doesn't work. So what would you, people say, what would you do? And people start asking about fuel additives and stuff like that. I'm not the expert on fuel additives. You can watch the video, see what it does. But if you see that there's dirt and water and other product, you know, things that shouldn't be in the fuel and you pour something in it, that breaks it down, makes it mix into the fuel, it's still got to go through your injectors. So you tell me, you know, unless it dissolves bits of sand, you know, um, it's kind of like, it's the Band-Aid thing, hiding a problem, my understanding. If anyone from any of these places, Fuel Additives wants to contact me, come, let's spend some time, we'll sit down, you can explain it, tell me what the product is, how it works. If it's different to that, then we'll do a video, even maybe including you explaining exactly what the product does okay let's get to the bottom of it but my understanding is unless you're taking it out you're filtering it out and filters don't work because look you're on rough roads things get shaken up the, 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 it mixes you know what I mean so that's where it doesn't always work 
that's the only explanation I've got because I know that it gets through filters, okay? Depending how blocked the filter is, the efficiency and all that as well. So um, I don't, well, there's an additive I do use actually in the older, in the 120 we run um, a product, I'll, call, I'll tell you what it's called, it's a trade product um, from Lubramax, it's called Knockout, okay? So the active ingredients I can't remember, but it claims to increase the cetane six to seven, which is really good. So I run that in the 120 because the software and the injectors are different and it does quieten down because I know when I stop using it, um, depending what fuel you get again, depending on fuel. Um, so I have noticed the noise, but you know what else it does? I don't know. I don't use other additives. You just got to watch all this marketing on a lot of these products. You know, they talk about snake oil and however they want to put it. I like to call it marketing fluff and goo. There's a lot of marketing fluff and goo on all sorts of things. And that includes, you know, your catch cans, your fuel filters, your this, your that. They'll tell you what they need to and manipulate it around so that you get sucked into it. Now, I'm not doing that to get you sucked out of it. I'm telling you, I've seen contamination on the products, the, end, the internals and the injectors, which are after the fuel filters, okay? It's a fact, okay? I've seen vehicles at hundreds of thousands of kilometers in the 400,000 K range, no additional fuel filters, no contamination to the injectors. That's a lot of fuel being put in the car for many, many years. So you decide, I just sort of go, yeah, it's quite a few hundred dollars taking up space in the engine bay. Then you see the problems with the fuel hoses, the bad installation, hoses rubbing here and there. Um, then they put those ugly hose clamps on and over tighten all the hoses and that, you know, it's just yuck, you know, it makes me feel sick. Anyway, guys, I said I'd keep that one short. It was a bit longer than I thought, even wrong. I thought I'd keep it short, but it was a bit longer than I thought. And I'm not going to start singing because definitely uh, better stick with my day job with that one. Um, so, bada bing, bada boom. Like always, if you've got something like that, please give us the thumbs up. And um, just trying to share the information, guys, and answer those questions for the people that are asking. That's the deal with fuel filters. I can't give you the answer. If you haven't already subscribed, turn that bell on. And um, in the comments, whatever you know about fuel filters, keep it clean, please. Don't worry about swearing and stuff like that. Um, we're going to start, you know, not letting those um, comments up. So please avoid the swearing. Just keep it cool. And we're not going to have any links promoting any products unless we agree with them anyway. Okay. So if we, if you put a link up, that's fine. You can go ahead and do that. But if we don't agree that it's a good product or a good link or a good company or good service, we're not going to be part of. Um, supporting or promoting that, you know what I mean? You can go ahead and try and promote that. If we go, oh yeah, yeah, I like them and their product, whatever, then we'll leave it up there. All right, so bada bing, bada boom. Thanks for watching. We're out of here.